It is uh, a weekly news feature segment launched in January of uh, 2022. Uh, the Cabinet, uh, the segment which airs every Monday at 9 p.m. right here on KBC Channel 1, focuses on men and women who have served as Cabinet Ministers in respective governments since the first one of Mzee Jomo Kenyatta. Here now is an episode of the Cabinets that featured Godfrey Gitahi, also known as Gigi Karaoke, who served in President Moy's cabinet. Born on January 1st, 1937, Godfrey Gatai Karyoki, popularly known as Gigi Karyoki, rose to prominence in the 1960s thanks to his role in helping the landless to settle in Lake Kipia that previously belonged to the white settlers. Gigi Karyoki was elected to the National Assembly in May 1963 to represent Lake Kipia West constituency, a seat he held until 1983. Seven years after getting into elective politics, President Jomo Kenyatta appointed Karaoke an assistant minister in the Ministry of Lands, Settlement and Physical Planning in October 1970. He was 33 years old. During the 1974 general election, Gigi Karaoke was opposed by the Gikoyo Embu and Mero Association, that is, Gema Lekipia District Chairman F.K. Mbudia. At the time, Karaoke had been identified as a supporter of the then Vice President Daniel Arab Moy, which did not see community who were not for the idea of Moy automatically ascending to the presidency. When founding president Mzee Jomo Kenyatta died in 1978, Gigi Karaoke played a crucial role in the Kanu elections that were necessary to confirm the transfer of power to Jomo's successor, President Moy. Following the 1979 general election, where Karaoke retained his Lake Ipe West parliamentary seat, President Moi appointed a Minister of State in the office of the President in charge of national security and provincial administration. Quote unquote, I soon realized that my authority was theoretical and far from reality. End of quote, Karaoke would later write as soon as he found out that he ended up with a role that was overwhelming in scope and responsibility. On numerous occasions as Minister in Charge of Security, he was not privy to decisions touching on his docket, only learning about the same in the press. In May 1982, he was transferred to the Ministry of Land, Settlement and Physical Planning, a familiar environment for him as he had earlier on in his career worked in that docket as an Assistant Minister. In 1983, a commission of inquiry was formed to look into allegations that the then Attorney General Charles Njonjo planned to overthrow President Moi's government in August 1982. Those deemed associates of Njonjo or because of their tribal affiliations had to be expelled from the echelons of power. Gigi Karaoke matched the profile. He was eventually expelled from Kanu on 14th September 1984. After being left out in the cold for close to nine years, President Moi would have a change of heart in regards to his former friend, nominating Gigi Karaoke to Parliament in 1993, a capacity that he would serve in until 1997. The reignited friendship came bearing gifts for Karaoke, as he was appointed chairman of the Betting Control and Licensing Board from 1993 until the year 2000. Gigi Karaoke was re-elected MP for Lake Kipia West in 2002, after which he was elected Senator for Lake Kipia County in the 2013 general election. Senator Gigi Karaoke died in June 2017 at the age of 79.